Hello everybody. I've already made a, a few videos this month about seed sowing and this is another one which is connected to that. Now I've made a playlist for these videos. Now that I've done a few, I can make a playlist and put some videos in it uh, for February seed sowing 2022. And the idea with that is that through the month you can see the 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 seeds that I'm sowing. You can see me sowing them and see me moving them on. Now, I've already made three that are in that playlist now, and they are the vegetable seeds I'm sowing this month, the flower seeds and companion plant seeds that I'm sowing. And now what I need to do is put all those together and on the remaining three weeks of this month, sow those before we start on March's seeds. And then I'll do a playlist for March, April, and possibly May as well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But the idea is to show you all the things and steps I'm taking through this month to produce the plants that I need or want to grow. Now, so what I need to do now is I need to sort through all these seeds, all the vegetables here, and all the flowers here. Um, there's not a great deal of them really, but I need to get it right. And I need to keep my eye on the weather as well. The weather plays an important part because once the seeds are out of the soil, I take them away from the propagators, take them away from the heat, pot them on, and then I keep them sort of cosseted, keep them protected, but not necessarily with warmth. The only thing I keep with warmth, really, until planting out are the things like the peppers, the aubergines, chilies, and the tomatoes. Later on, cucumbers also, when it's a lot warmer anyway, so. That, that's a different scenario. So I've got my tomato varieties here, which were Crimson Crush, LD, Black Prince, and the Jersey Devil. They will be sown in the last week of this month, so they can go over there. Also, I've got uh, my Charlotte Zebron. I'm also going to sow that last, last week of this month. So that's for that one. Now I've got peas here. I'll leave those for a second. Peas. I'm going to be sowing those this week uh, because they're for pea shoots and carrots. I've got two types here, Amsterdam Forcing and the Early Nonce. I've got two containers over there in the corner. They're going in there this week. Now, beetroot and Ishikura bunching onions, middle of the month. See, this is so easy. Once you get yourself organised, uh, it's it's relatively easy to get get going. Now, as a I've said before, brassicas, they germinate really quickly and at very low temperatures, anywhere between 5 degrees and 10 degrees. The soil is still a little bit cold in here, but um, we're not far away from where I can actually plant, and I will sow some in one of these beds here, and when I've emptied them, <laughs> um, as, as, the, as the months go by, but that will probably be into next month. So some of those early ones, I'll do it in the middle of the month. And simply because that part is looking a bit empty. <laughs> and I've got cauliflower and kale here, chard, some early cabbage, and a couple of kales, no, a kale and a broccoli. So they'll all go in the middle of the month. Now I've also got some lettuce here, a few varieties here. I've got Intred, uh, Amaze, what's that fella? Navara, and this one is the Rouge de Eva. I'm going to sow these also uh, this week, so they'll go on that pile. Now, flowers. I've got a big pack of marigolds here, marigold seeds, and this one is brocade mixed. I'm going to be sowing all of the marigolds, so let's sort through these really quickly. I've got a load of tajits. Now, I grow the tajits with my tomatoes because it helps. Uh, with protection against whitefly and aphids and I always grow them at the base of the plants hopefully I've got a picture I can put up and show you but um, they, they look nice as well and I've got a few different varieties they're all a gem so there is an orange red lemon and a fantastic mix which is a normal marigold and I'm going to be sowing all of those at the end of this month so they'll all go on there this big bag here this will also be the end of the month, but I'm going to sow some this week. So I'll, I'll do a couple of sowings of that, some nice early ones, and then I'll move them to go in with there. Uh... I've also got some the annual annual delphinium, the larkspur. I want to sow those now. 
the cobia, the mixed cup and saucer plants, will be at the end of this month. And this is all just down to experience and spreading the load over time. This is all I'm trying to do. Foxglove, that's an alba, so that's a white one. I'll sow that this week. And then I've got two left, Shasta Daisy and Virginia Stock. I'll just pop them in the middle of the month. So that's, that's me sorted for seeds, so it's not too many, probably 10 or so varieties in each there to sow once a week until the end of the month. And that just makes life so much easier for me. So now all I need to do now is make labels for them, get myself ahead as much as I possibly can and start writing labels for them. You can come back, it's all right. I'm just writing labels. You don't need to see this. Right, so splitting the rest of this month up into three weeks, which is what's left of it, into three bundles of seeds, last, last um, week of the month, then next week, and this week. And I've got the peas, which I'll sow separately into, a, into some sort of a container. The two carrot varieties are going in the tubs over there. The lettuce, marigolds, foxgloves and larkspur. Now, some of these will go on heat and some of them won't. This will go in my propagator at home, the big bench propagator in my greenhouse. That's the marigold, just until they germinate and then they'll come out. These lettuce will go on my kitchen windowsill. I've got four varieties in there, or I will have when I've sown these. And all I've done is just filled it with sieved compost as always with seeds. Just makes the pricking out easier. It makes the separation of the seedlings easier because the soil will just shake off and again don't want a great deal of lettuce really although I'm always a little bit heavy-handed with this so that's in there and then I'll just cover that with sieve compost and again that's four varieties out of that pile sown in there on the kitchen windowsill with them the marigolds will go in here spread across the top sieve compost again and sieve compost over the top this is where it gets a little bit different now these are similar in how they how they grow um, one is an annual which is this larkspur the annual delphinium the other is foxglove and uh, i'm going to be sowing these in this big tray because i'm going to sort of what they call broadcast sow them and i'm just putting a couple of seed labels down the middle just to separate them. Now, these larkspur, they need cold stratifying for a couple of weeks and then they'll grow. So I'll just sow these on the surface of this soil, or com sift compost even. And what I'm gonna do is I'll cover them with compost, water them, and then tomorrow I shall fetch a freezer bag down and the whole tray will go into a, a freezer bag. And then I'm gonna sit them outside in the cold, basically, to stratify them. They'll stay out there for a couple of weeks. I'll just place them on the, one of the beds out there or somewhere convenient. And that will help give them that cold stratification that they need. And then I'll fetch them indoors, maybe in here, maybe the greenhouse at home, I don't know yet. We'll see, see where I've got space, basically. And then hopefully they'll grow. Now, foxglove, the seeds are notoriously small. There's probably about a thousand seeds there. I don't know how many is in a packet, but again, I'm just going to palm sew these over the surface. I can see them fall and you won't be able to pick that up on the camera, but there's more than enough seeds for, for what I want for there. And I've got sieve compost here. Just put some of this over the top of all of this that I've, I've sewn. And over the lettuce and then they'll just want the water and leave and say so they're on the windowsill at home these two here this one's going to go on the bed outside and this one will go on the propagator at home um, but it's the same sewing with that i'll just put a pinch over the top of the of the compost and uh and, and then just water them. That's all that really needs to happen. 
So it's as, as simple as that. Don't need to make it more complicated. But now that that pinch is done, this is the one I said I was going to sow later in the month. So that goes on that pile over there for the later in the month. And there we go. That's that's that done. So that's the seed sowing. And now you can see that the seed sowing is nothing difficult, not time consuming. I've got loads of varieties of plants there that I'm growing over this month but it's very little when you spread it down to over the week, over the month itself, break it down into weeks. As long as you're organized and you know what you're doing, you can get away with doing so many plants so quickly and so easily. And that's the key at this time of the year. Now, in my next video, I'm gonna be highlighting certain things, certain growing areas and what, what you may or may not need. And I'll be talking about propagators, lights, greenhouses, polytunnels, coal frames, all that sort of stuff. And again, at this time of the year, that stuff is vitally important for you to know about. Uh, and for then, once you've got that understanding, you can go away and make your choices as to what you want to grow and how you want to grow. There'll be many gardeners out there who'll be sowing exactly the same seeds, but they'll be doing it in such different ways. And that's brilliant about gardening. But if you've got the information, if I've given it to you, and I put it all under that seed sowing banner for February on that playlist, then it's there for for you when you want to go and think well let's go and have a an investigate of what we can do this month so there you go that's that's it for this one so do look after yourselves everyone please stay safe and i'll see you all very very soon probably a couple of days see you now ta <laughs>